YouTube, Frank Brand here. Just uh, a few of you have seen my um, my portable power pack on my website and, and on YouTube, and several of you requested a breakdown of how I built this power pack and what it uh, comprises of. It's actually been a project that I've been working on now for uh, almost a year. It's been um, at least a good nine months in the coming in it. And I'll make reference to some other videos that kind of inspired me to head down this path. I know that when I was looking at building a um, some sort of, I guess ultimately I wanted to build a power wall. I wanted to build something that I could run solar panels and not necessarily be off the grid, but actually be more independent and be self-sustaining and self-sufficient. But I didn't want to take on something as large as a power wall until I had done some smaller projects. And so this was the first project I chose. And the reason I chose this size is because I wanted something that was portable, that I could you know, take with me wherever I needed to go, that had enough power where I could um, sustain myself for at least several days, if not a week or longer, and be able to provide enough power for my family and, and our needs. Um, I also thought it would be nice to be able to run like our refrigerator or freezer or you know, even heat in the house if necessary. We run on natural gas here a lot of times and sometimes just having the air handler move the air is a big problem, a concern. So if I can put in a, um, a power source that would allow me to run even when the power is out, then I could have heat in my house. So that was the other thing I was really shooting for was just to be able to take care of our needs for electricity. This here right now is rated at 2.2 kilowatts. Most, in fact, all of the cells that are in here, there are 240 cells that uh, comprise into three separate packs that make up a 12 volt battery. Um, it has a 1500 watt uh, inverter and I, so far I'm happy with it. I haven't had a chance to actually do a full blown test on it where I'm running my refrigerator and my freezer and if it's not enough I'm gonna have to up, up the ante a little bit maybe go to a 3000 watt but for the, right now I think that uh, being able to just have a project where I built something uh, was really the first step and so I learned a lot over the course of the last nine months and I've seen other videos where guys have built solar generators, portable solar generators, and this one here will eventually go solar. It's not solar right now. I just haven't had the money to put into solar panels and hooking things up. I've been looking at several different options when it comes to solar panels, but uh, the pack itself has enough room. I actually have enough room inside here to put another two kilowatts of power and I just bought some fresh cells. So I'll have an opportunity to either add some of those here or use them in other applications. But right now this charges off the wall. So it's running 110 off the wall to, to charge my cells. And uh, other than that, it's, it's actually a pretty good little unit. I put in four GFI rated uh, outlets. And so I have the outlets and in the front I have USB ports and a 12 volt, uh, just regular car adapter so that I can run um, devices that you would normally run on 12 volt. It's made out of a rigid uh, toolbox, picked it up at Home Depot. The other thing, um, I got a couple other projects I'm working on that are actually smaller than this. They're more uh, emergency based. You need to carry in a backpack or uh, take with you on maybe a hike or on a, a camping trip where you need to charge some devices or run some lights. So I'm working on those and I'll have some videos on how I break those down and how I make them. I'm not going to recreate this to show you how it's done, but I will show you each of the components in here and I will break it down so that you can actually see how I built it. And if you have questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, it was definitely a learning experience. I know it's not perfect. There's probably a lot of things I could have done different or better, but I feel it's pretty good. I mean, it, it looks okay. I think it's, it's kind of a clean look. So I was really hoping to uh, be able to share that with you and some of the nuances of it. So with that, I'm gonna have probably a couple of videos here where I'll break them into smaller segments, but I'll talk about um, each of the different components within this portable um, power pack so that you can see what, uh, what I did and how I actually constructed it and how it actually functions. So with that, um, I will catch you in the next video. Hi, I am Mrs. Frank. My husband is adorably geeky, OCD, slightly autistic, and he's allergic to cottonwoods. Anyway, so subscribe and he'll get it perfectly straight. I promise. <laughs>